I will get up. I will get up. I'll get up. I'll get up. I'll get up. <laughs> okay, it is one twenty. I don't know what that is. It is one twenty-eight. Um, it's Friday, September twenty-ninth. My lease is done, officially done tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow. And yeah, I got to do some packing. A lot of the things I have, I honestly will be just throwing away. I'm a person who travels pretty lightly. Usually when I move or whatever, it's really just a, like two suitcases full of like clothes and everything. So pretty much same thing here now. The thing is though, there are a good amount of things I wanted to ship to my parents' house that um, it's raining like crazy. If you're in New York or around New York, you probably know it's raining pretty bad. Um, so the UPS tour is a couple blocks away and I'm like, I do not, I do not want to go over there and do that. There's really just a couple of things left here. I have a lamp, I have a coffee table, a bench, um, a mirror, a beautiful mirror. I love this mirror so much. I'm sad that, you know, I'll be leaving it. Uh, I think somebody's coming to pick it up, so it should be fine. And I have a little, like, bookcase. Is that about it? I think that's about it in terms of furniture. So I'll be okay throwing away most of these things. I need to get dressed and do some filming for a brand. Bad timing, definitely, but you know, let's do it, it'll be fine. But no, this is really weird for me. This is the first time I'm like, really kind of living day by day, to be honest. Um, I guess more like month by month. And it's been that way for a couple months now. Um, just making plans one month at a time and just seeing how I feel at the end of that month and going from there. But yeah, I am going to Mexico City for the month. I have a really, really gorgeous, like beautiful Airbnb that I'm so excited to check out. And I honestly have no other plans other than just recharging. This last year in New York has been 50 shades of amazing and exciting. Um, but also like very like difficult in some aspects. I really, really appreciate the last year though because like I saw more things than I could have ever like thought I would see. I was on like every single adventure imaginable, Jesus, imaginable. I went to shows and you know clubs and partied and cried and like had just not great things happen, but had really amazing things happen. Like I really, no one can say I did not live up my year. Um, and honestly, when I think about what people think of when they think of New York, like let's say I was watching like a New York movie of a 20 something person. Um, I, my last year very much lives up to that um, and more. Like, you don't want a movie to just be good, like amazing the whole time. Like you want it to have a plot and, you know, drawbacks and questions and fear and all these other things. And my year definitely had that. So like, I'm extremely grateful for this year. That being said, I am extremely excited for like, what there could be away from this year not even like away from new york but like away from this year like I, everything that has happened in the last year i am content with packaging it up and like leaving it there um and so now it's like okay so what what's next then and it's hilarious because like i literally complained about new york city like pretty much every day that i was here except for the last like six weeks and like people say like, hey, like your first year in New York City is gonna be grueling and testing. Like the, the universe knows your demons and will pull it right out and shove it in your face if you live in New York City. And that's what happened to me. 
Um, and I felt it all the way through. And so for a very long time, I was like, I wanna leave, I wanna leave, I wanna leave. I, I want peace, there's no peace here. I'm like, I'm just not having a good time. But over the last few weeks, like six weeks or so, there's definitely been a change in perspective where like, it's very difficult here. And I'm probably still gonna feel it difficult. But I started seeing more of the magic of New York again. I think it's because um, I've been wanting to be more creative. In my next chapter, I want to be really, really all in into content, but also arts. I really want to paint. I really want to dance and be musical and take classes for different things. And now I'm like, I don't know if Mexico City, if that's the place to do that, because like New York is the arts capital of the Muslim world, you know? So I don't know if leaving it will be the right choice for me, because that's really where my mind has been lately, specific on arts so again this month is gonna be very much looking for clarity on things okay let's go film so usually i film in front of this window i'm not wearing official bottoms because you know what we're not seeing that part so it's fine okay i really liked that um i'm actually shocked at how quickly I was able to talk through it. So I really do love this brand and I want y'all to be able to like use their resources and their tools. And so let me do some editing real quick. It's so loud because of the rain and so, and because of the echo. So I need to put in some noise reducing like software and yeah, hopefully it gets to a place that I'm like, okay, that's good, let me submit it for a review. So let's see. Okay, I just submitted the um, videos for the brand to look over. I'm kind of tired. To be honest though, um, the rain's lightened up and I think this is a good time for me to run over to the UPS. Oh, okay. That was not so bad at all. The man who helped me was extremely, extremely nice. I wish him nothing but the best for him and everyone he loves. But yeah, I asked, I was like, how much would like a 20 by 20 box filled with clothes be like to ship? And I said like to Denver, how much should that be? And he's like, oh, like the standard rate with, you know, anybody would be about $60. I bought three boxes. This is how big they are. So I bought three of these. Cause I'm like, no way am I shipping more than three $60 boxes. Cause that's now $180 before tax and everything. And that was just an estimate. So I'm gonna like also like really, really be mindful about what I'm taking because like, I need to, it needs to have a value in my head of at least $60. Um, or not even the item, but like the box in general. It's like, okay, if I had to put a value to all the items in here, would I say it's $60? And if I can't say yes, then something's not getting shipped. So that's pretty much all of this. And again, it's mostly just clothes. There's gonna be some shoes that I need to put away. That's definitely gonna be like one solid box. But yeah, don't mind these because this these I'm taking with me. So it's really everything on the perimeter. Um, minus the bedding. The bedding I'm just gonna throw away. I just feel bad throwing away right now. I think I'll wait till the last minute to throw it away. So it's really just these items. So I don't, don't even think I'll need the three bags. Um, I mean the three boxes, maybe just like I don't even know, one, one and a half. And so I really don't think it's gonna take a lot, a long time. I'm tired, I'm gonna take a break. Oh, oh my one. This is what, this what some love is going, I think, hold on. Yo, I need to see this, um, the honeymoon episode, the like pre-honeymoon. Oh, shit, this is about to be, a uh, whole love is blind thing. Oh, yeah? 
look like. It just really helps that she's like so hot. Okay, move to the kitchen because I have things to do. I need to um remove the dent on this purse. So I just put the tea kettle on and I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna like hold it over it to like steam it a little bit. I'm going to proceed to clean this kitchen some more. Um, yeah, while watching Love is Blind, I'm still watching it. It is right up here, so... Not him saying, well, if you look like this, I would love it. I do look like, like he said, she hasn't put on makeup since that day. And you've seen me every day since she doesn't have makeup on. So what's the issue? Wow. So like, honestly, just finishing touches. The main problem is this room, specifically because of the bathroom. We'll go to the roof, take up that amazing view, and go to bed. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm pretty much packed. I'm trying so hard to close this and I can't get it closed and I'm getting very frustrated. Fuck no, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. I'll move this to here. Um, that's gonna have to do, let me, you know, I'll just throw this away, fuck it. Okay. Now, honestly, I'm just throwing things into boxes. I don't even care anymore. Here, let me just close it and maybe I'll tape it at the facility because I don't want to like, in case I need to open it up again for something. So for now, let me just close it. I'm gonna call an Uber to help me drop these off. And then I have this bag of books that I'm gonna donate to the like little cute library. Um, I'll open this. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I have not eaten. It is just before 12.30, so I'm running behind because I wanted to leave by one. So let me bring these boxes downstairs and call the Uber to get me to the post office. So I um, just took the boxes to USPS. I'm extremely just not doing well right now. The USPS took a very, very long time. Like it took an hour. I thought it was going to be just drop it off, but it took an hour because of how First trying to get an Uber that would fit the boxes and then getting the boxes inside and everything. People helped me, which I'm so grateful for. Okay. Um, I want like a permanent home so bad. And I think like how I'm treating going to Mexico very much has an intermission and trying to figure out where I'm gonna go and where I'm gonna be. It sucks because like there's so many wrong 
choices or right choices that are wrong still in some way and it's hard for me to make a decision and just stick with it but I really am sick and tired of moving around so much I have not stayed in a place for this now actually is the longest I've stayed somewhere in like I think like four years and I was here for like 10 months, nine months, and before that I stayed max like six months places at a time for the last like, yeah, for the last like four years. I just want to just be settled somewhere and have a community somewhere and just not... feel so alone everywhere. I'm gonna close my suitcase and um put my items away. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 I will get up, I will get up, I'll get up, I'll get up, I'll get up, I'll get up. Okay. Okay. This is me getting up, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. Not gonna lie, I was relying heavily on having in-flight Wi-Fi to help me pass the time. I was going to spend whatever was needed to get in-flight Wi-Fi, and they're they're claiming there is like free Wi-Fi, but that's the worst Wi-Fi. <laughs> that's the worst Wi-Fi. Y'all should see my setup. I don't know how I ever not have three seats to myself on a plane. And I don't even know how that happened because my seat wasn't assigned until I was we were boarding. I had to like go to the gate agent and get this, a seat. And I was happy that it was a window seat. But then I get here and we take off and, and it clicks. I'm like, wait a damn minute. There's no one next to me. So I have food here, movie here, elephant here drinks, purse, and electronics. To be honest, I would prefer this over a first class. I, I am in luxury. Once uh -oh, we're on the road, the only thing left like that's like really like on my mind is getting the hotel reservation because I didn't, I haven't gone there yet. It's this, um, like specifically like local um, hotel which I stayed in for a couple nights last year um, due to a hilarious story that I can talk about later but I had to flee my Airbnb and go to this hotel and it was so ridiculously cheap it was like I think like $15 a night but still so gorgeous so um, yeah I I'm hoping they have room I remember last time I booked it the day before, not even the day before, last time I booked it the day of, and so I was just going to do the same thing and pray for the best. I only need it for one night because my Airbnb check-in is at 3 uh, tomorrow, so I to last Okay, so the hotel does not have rooms, and so I <coughs> hit up my Airbnb host, and he is letting me check in early. My Uber is almost here, so yes, let's go. Oh my goodness, okay, we made it. I am so tired. I believe it's just before midnight. 
my Airbnb host was kind enough to open up the apartment a day early. So I'm really, really grateful for that. This apartment is so cute. Um, but now I'm just itching to see it in the day because like the lighting isn't great. And so I really want to see it during the day because it has like these huge like screen doors and like that makes up most of like the, most if not all of the wall, both upstairs and upstairs and downstairs. Um, I can't think y'all. So I'm very excited to see it during the day. Something I did not think about was cooling. And I don't know if there's bugs because I would open the screen door, but there's no netting. So I'm trying to think like, should I open the screen door to let some of the cool air in? Or no, I don't know about that. But um, yeah, I think for the rest of the night, I'm gonna do quite a bit of editing because I really want this video up by tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, I'll just, Put on some TV and yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming along with me over these last few days because it's been a ride, it's been a lot, but I'm excited. Right now, I'm just more tired, but yeah, yeah. Check in with me in the morning.